In John chapter 1, John says that, that, the, that Jesus is the one who comes after me, who's, whose sandals I am unworthy to untie. Do we understand that we are not even worthy to serve and praise God? That we are, we are not at all worthy. That it is a privilege. It is not a right. That we are not worthy to even untie his sandals, which in that culture back then, the lowest of slaves were the ones who did that as guests would come into the dinner. That they would be seated at the door on their knees and they would untie the sandals and wash the feet and put on a new pair of sandals. And John the Baptist is saying, and he is not even worthy to untie the sandals and wash the feet to serve God, to be in his presence. Is that our heart today? Do we understand what God has done for us sinful people that we are unworthy but how great is the love the father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God and that is what we are rejoice in your heart rejoice in the Lord today surely so my prayer for today in John three thirty. It says that he must become greater and I must become less. That he must increase and I must decrease. That's my prayer for today in my life and for you. That the Lord Jesus Christ in our life and our heart would increase. That our own selfish and sinful desires would decrease. For we are not worthy to serve our God and our King and our Savior but that we would. Because of his mercy, he has saved us. Because of his grace. Because of who he is. Not because of righteous things we have done, but because God is merciful and we are undeserving. That that would give, that, that if that truth would take root within our hearts, that we would realize that it would strengthen us when we come under hard times to know the love of God and his great riches of mercy that he has bestowed on us, that he has called us his own, and that our hearts would fill with joy, for the joy of the Lord is our strength, and that we could endure and persevere by letting him increase in our life. And where we would decrease, that we would take a step aside and let Christ lead us. So that's my prayer for today for me and also for you, that you let Christ increase in your heart, in your life, and that I myself and you in our own lives decrease. For he must increase and we must decrease.